The groin grab was invented for the forgetful man with a tiny penis. Movers and shakers. Most of us will be more than familiar with the sight of a man clasping his package unsolicited at us ladies in the street. What a treat. This is not actually the sexual proposition you might expect it to be. It's actually just men reminding themselves that their penis is still there. You see, penises are quite far away and some of them are very small. If you are ever witness to a groin grab, it's useful to give its owner some encouragement. <gasps> well done you, you found him. The head turn. You know the one when a man turns his head in an overly dramatic fashion to follow a woman's bottom? Yeah. If you see that, it's clearly a man in pain. Approach him and say, you must have a pain in your neck. Then you can coach them through some revitalizing neck stretches. Wolf whistles. Some men find it easier to communicate using a series of grunts and whistles. That means, hello there. What are your thoughts on the work of Keats and its relevance to a contemporary audience? Cat calls. Nope, it's not the sound your cat makes when it wants some tuna. It's the sound of men shouting at women in the street. Hey, fancy a shag? Yay! Often I find these men are just lonely and wanting to start a conversation. Ah, hello there, sir. Thank you for your concern in my sexual needs. I am, however, on my way for a pint of milk, Sawyer. And my need for a cup of tea is my driving force rather than any sexual desires. It's good to chat. Cheer up, love. Cheer up, love. Unfortunately, we're not all amazing at mine. I find psychology is useful here. Does your need to encourage others to feel happy perhaps come from a deep-rooted sense of insecurity and unhappiness in your own life? Oh, cheer up, love.